I saw the brand new Haikyuu movie. Twice. Well, technically, I bought four tickets. I might have a problem. No, I don't have a problem. I'm a huge fan of the series, and I would be doing a disservice if I didn't cover it here on my channel. Um, I've covered a couple of anime uh, movie TV shows here on my page. Check those out if you're interested on in my take on that. Um, but I would do, be doing a disservice if I didn't preach the word of Haikyuu to all of you lovely people here today. Uh, <laughs> um, but I saw the movie. Um, we have some problems, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, in the background, um, I'm going to play a update video on my anime figure collection. So all of you guys who are here for that, uh, make sure to comment below if I finally uh, picked up a figure that's your favorite character. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I should review next, let me know in the comments below. If you saw the movie or if you're a fan of Haikyuu, let me know below. And yeah, and also we're almost to 3,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys are killing it. So please make sure you thumbs up the video also. That helps me out a lot. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. When it comes to animation, this movie freaking knocked it out of the park and uh, it makes me even more hyped for the part two that's gonna be coming out next year. Um, a lot of dope moments. Um, I have heard criticisms online that some people say that there were some uh, scenes or panels in the original manga that weren't in the uh, the movie, uh, which is kind of sad to say for people who were definitely looking forward to those individual moments. But for myself as a casual fan, um, I didn't miss out on anything. I think a lot of the core moments that I want to see, I think they covered in the movie. Uh, but yeah, animation was dope. Um, I love throughout the whole Haikyuu anime series, there's this progression with the animation where the art style kind of tonally shifts as the series goes on, um, which is kind of a resemblance to the manga. The art style has kind of progressed over time too, uh, to what it is today. But I think they really killed it. That's definitely going to be one of the plus points for seeing this movie. Uh, the animation is amazing and there's even this rotoscope moment that's probably gonna be um i don't know one of those scenes of the year or at least of the whole series where it's like you gotta see that scene but um yeah a lot of dope hinata moments i loved it uh the jump moments killed it i prefer the jump animation style if i had to be picky from the uh, the last season of the anime over what we got in the movie but outside of that i mean no real issues so Haikyuu, the series, uh, in total has about 402 chapters. Um, out of most typical shonens, um, I'd say they typically cook or wrap up around 200 chapters. So I am super grateful that we got at least 400 plus chapters of Haikyuu content. Really appreciate that. Um, but the movie itself ends at chapter 327, which wraps up the Karasuno versus Nekuma match. And what worries me is there's at least 74 some chapters left to cover what remains in the actual manga. Um, and I guess and there's only one movie that's remaining that's been announced so far. There's no announcement of a continuation of a new season of the anime. So, um, doesn't sound logical to wrap up 74 chapters just in one movie. So what does sound logical is if they wrap up maybe the last 33 chapters that are left, which contains the Karasuno versus Komudai match. Um, so I, I could definitely more see that happening, but what worries me is that that means we're probably going to skip the Kiryu versus Bokuto match with, uh, and it sucks because there's so much character development that happens in there for Akashi. Um, it's such a dope battle altogether. You know, Bokuto brings all the hype. So I don't know, maybe if we're lucky, Bokuto was definitely featured in this movie somewhat heavily. So maybe part two opens up with his match. That would definitely bring hype to the crowd, in my opinion, right before we even have the, um, you know, uh, Komodai versus Karasuno match. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty worried. Nothing's been announced just yet, but I guess we'll see how it goes. I just don't fuck up my favorite series. Like, I feel like it's that easy to ask for. Maybe it's not asking for too much, but I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I don't know. Just, just please, just do a good job, please. But those are going to be my quick thoughts about the new Haikyuu movie. Um, no matter what, I'm a really grateful fan. The fact that we even got this match animated, especially to the degree that we got it, I'm super thankful for. Um, but I mean, you got to advocate for yourself. You know, you always got to advocate for a better product. So I don't know, really hoping that we get to see the time skip in some type of fashion. And movie will be dope. That will be wild. But I will be super satisfied with a well-crafted, taking its time anime series um, or season. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think again in the comments below. Are you guys worried? Did you like the movie? Um, but yeah, um, it is almost spooky season. And let's go. We got a lot of more dope anime that's going to be dropping this year. Allegedly, the new Uzumaki anime is going to be dropping on Tsunami this year. So I'll definitely be looking forward to that. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on that, let me know. I've also been catching up to the Chainsaw Man manga. So a lot of spooky stuff. But... Um, I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. Stay for the next video. You guys are such a dope community. I appreciate all the support. And yeah.